You are welcome to Co Manager Property Management Software. Um, I'm introducing this software to you today. Uh, we want to explore what the software entails, what are the features, what are the capacity capability of this software. Um, let me mention this uh, from the start that this application is a web-based one. It's a web-based software, uh, and the beauty of it is that um, you can access it anywhere you are in the whole world. You can set it 24 hours, 24-7. It is um, it's always with you. And also you can assess it, uh, the content on it from your phone and also laptop. So it, uh, it makes it easier for accessibility. It can be anywhere to monitor what goes on in the company or in the office. All right, so let's get inside the application. So the first thing is I'm going to... So login, so I'm going to log into my own uh, dashboard. So got into the dashboard now. So we have a number of things that are in there. So in the dashboard, the dashboard is also give you a quick look at what goes on about your property. So you can see it from here. We have from this side, we have the landlord. We also have the property. We have tenants, inactive tenants. Let's say we unit, unit occupy and the like. So I'm going to be explaining to us what all this entails. And if I scroll down, you can see there's a bar chart here. Actually, I'm doing this in January, so you don't see January uh, bar chart. So and also you can see total rent received last month and like so. I'm still going to explain better everything on this dashboard before we move into the other uh, aspect of it. So the first one is one. This one gives me the the number of the landlord that are registered on this application by me or by my office, uh, my company now. And also this property, you know, the first thing you have to do is the landlord. Under the landlord, we have property. Under this property, there are tenants living in the property. Then uh, here also we see inactive tenants. This inactive tenant that tenants who have left, who have vacated the the the, the premises. And also we have this electable unit. In other words, you know, we go after a property. And um, but inside that property, we could have letable units, like units, for example, in the property we could have no four number two bedroom flat. That means it's four units of two bedroom flat that can be uh and of course we could have two units, two bedroom, one unit, three bedroom, and uh, maybe one room a room safe con. So there are still units, of course. You can actually apply that. And also, here we have units occupied. In other words, out of the 12 units that I have total, I have 12 units, I mean, one unit occupied. I have 11, 11, 11 units that are still vacant. So this one from, from this place, I can know how, much, how many properties that are still vacant, and I can know how many properties. So it's, it's helped me to actually understand that from a quick look, that I, I still know that I have a long way to go to do in my marketing. To tell people that I have property that are vacant on ground. Alright, so here we have unpaid invoice, we have partly paid, we have paid invoice. So what this one just means is that um, those tenants in, in, in the we have tenants inside those uh, who are current tenants inside the property, then for the renewal of their tenants, we are just going to of a tenancy that we, we actually raise an invoice for that or for the, Another name for that is rent demand notice. They actually demand rent renewal from them. So we have, so it's 10, ten yeah, you can see that five have been paid and two invoices unpaid. So let's move forward. So we have here, we have total rent to be collected this year. We have total rent to be collected this year. Total rent collected so far. In other words, it's telling me that, oh, I've only collected this as a month from the total rent I'm expecting to collect this year. And this one also, we have a total rent here to be collected. So that's just a subtraction of this from this. Then we have this. A subtraction of this from this. And we have this. So let's move. Here we have the total tenants. I mean, sorry, staff that have been registered on this application. We have total due tenancy. Those who tenancy are due, we don't have anybody yet. So for those who tenancy are expired, they're going to see, it's going to count all of them. If you are 20, you're going to know that okay, only 20 people are expired. I mean, tenancy has expired. So here we have total unpaid invoices. All the maybe the rent demand notice you have 
actually issued out of the invoice that you have given out it can tabulate everything calculate everything and sum it together so we have total outstanding rent so here's total outstanding rent unpaid rent from expired tenancy this one is just those who have expired those who have expired all right we have total remittance amount to be paid to the landlord and also so far is it made to the landlord so far and also this is just the total and this one the total rent collected so far so all the rent have been collected so far we sum it up here and we are able to know how much we have collected so far in rent since we began the use of this application all right here we can see standing me we have 22,000 naira pound i mean this january so it means if we get to february there will be a charge to collect rent and the lies to december to be able to look at the progress from the look you know if january is more than february and february is more than march so we're able to know that latest transaction maybe you've just received rent payments from the tenant and you enter it everything slits here so the latest transaction we have it uh at this right corner of the okay, let's move forward we have total rent received last month is able to tell us last month this month is still 22,000 and don't forget we're still in january like this the year is say 22,000 all right so we have total rent received last year you can sum off everything we received in total rent last year the summing now sum it up and give it to us in form of a figure so this is total management fee how much management fee you have to be deducted that you have received from your uh from the property you are managing so we have total agency fee and cost on deposit all right so here we just have okay latest new tenant that have just registered we have new landlord we have new properties all right here we have quickly if you want to navigate to a particular uh menu so that just it so and the next thing we are going to look at is uh, what is the next thing what is the first thing you are expected to do when you are on this application so if you are doing this on this application you know of course you are going to see this landlord ten property and tenant and native all of them is going to be zero 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 because you don't have any data inside this uh you don't have any data inside this application so the first thing you need to do about this application is that you're going to go to a uh, new registration because that's the first thing you're going to do you're going to add a landlord and the property but this way you're going to do it the first thing you're going to add is landlord because from the landlord let me just go to landlord now so if you see that this landlord for once you go to landlord you're going to you'll be able to put in your file number so the file number is very important and also we have this um okay the title then the name of the landlord of course the rest and i think the next one is the, the phone number because at least the landlord will have to have the phone number for you to call the landlord so and after that and if you want to if you want to enter the rest of course some people say there's no much time let me just have this one done and click submit so once you click on submit it's going to register you can still come back to edit those detail information there's no problem about that so once you have registered your landlord the next thing to go to your property because you know we have a property that, that the landlord is giving to you so the first thing you're going to see here is a uh, file number it's going to select the file number here and then you're going to do uh you're going to enter the, the the title if it is two bedroom flat then you put the two bedroom flat if it is a uh, five bedroom flat just just the name or let's say a number of flats, just whatever name you want to use then you can enter the address where is it situated and then uh, all right is it partly look at this is it partly or fully occupied or vacant or none of them has been has been uh, occupied so the next thing is going to look at the management fee how much are you charging on each property so i mean on that property meanwhile no so on that property how much are you charging so if it is 10 percent five percent you can scroll all to 20 percent i believe maybe some people are collecting 20 percent i don't know but you know many people it's from 10 percent to five all right so then, but here is uh, so you're in charge because you know one thing is very important about this aspect of registration you have to get you have to attach this property to a proper I mean to to a severe of course if you want to do that you have to go to uh, scroll down under staff you are going to see staff here add new staff that is where you are going to if you add new staff you're going to enter the name of it, I mean, the name, the, the user name, the person is going to be using to sign in, and in third password. And here we are going to look at okay, I'm, because I want to register a your and just put a your like this. Then here I can say, do I need to get this person? 
you can revoke the assets if you don't want the person to be able to delete just revoke the asset assets and enter the name and be submit automatically when you come back to once it is saved under surveyor under surveyor if you come back to property you want to register a property here these are just the surveyor i have i have entered because one thing about this aspect is that you know if you attach this property to a surveyor where the surveyor use those login details maybe the username and the password and use it to enter it's going to see this property on its own dashboard of course, if those property are attached, another property is attached to another surveyor, that property, I, the surveyor that is not in charge cannot see that property. So it's just to help, um, uh, it's just, just to help them to look at okay, which property in my portfolio, how much rent I'm, I, I'm expected to collect from it, from it, and how much have I collected. Those things, uh, they are inside because if the if the if the surveyor logged in, it's not going to see this. It's not going to this. Not what it's going to. I mean, appear to a surveyor. All these things will not appear to a surveyor's dashboard. And of course, I'm going to show you what will appear to a surveyor's dashboard. So here, a surveyor will not have access to it. And of course, you know, from the staff registration aspect of it, you can actually, you, you can actually enter, I mean, register for manager, secretary, uh, admin, if, if you like. Of course, we can still have accountant there, accountant, maybe if a company that have accountant, like so gonna have it but the first thing like the first thing for you to to to, to be because if you don't add the the surveyor in charge to it this resolution will not go through that's very 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 important and now once you are through with that then the next thing is going to go to letable units on that letable unit you're gonna see you select the file number already it will populate the property to you which property are you talking about it will also populate I mean it also ask you to enter how many number of units is it two number I mean, is it is it two number of two bedroom flats? So it depends. If it is two, let's just say two, then you enter two, then you submit. It's going to open to for you. You are going to register. Is it flat one? And this one is it flat two? Let's say this one is flat two. And you register how much are you collecting? Am I collecting hundred thousand naira for that one? And if it is if it, this one is also two hundred thousand naira, you know, in that case, then you can enter. You can enter the description. Okay, let's say this one is it flat two. It depends on what you want to use. I'm just using my own data here. Thank you. So once I submit, it's going to add it to the letable unit. Of course, once you you can still uh, delete them later, but if you want to have access to this letable unit, it's under this drill registered and like so. But let's go to um, under that. Then you move to tenant. You know, if you have tenant in your in the file in your portfolio concerning that property, you can enter them. The first thing is to select the file number. It populates the property unit. That's two bedroom flat. It also populates what are the units inside. Which one is it? So this one is uh, you know this one is two bedroom flat or already, already occupied. Now if there is any of the if there is any of the flats that has been occupied and you have registered it on this platform, it's going to see it as already occupied. And if those ones that are still available, it will tell you available, available. Then you can pick any one of them. And once you pick the a flat two available, so just move to next. So once you get to next and you click on, uh, just say you just enter a name, just enter a name, Mr. Mr. Uh, Kingsley, and uh, you know just say Mr. Kingsley, so 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 so, and uh, that's I think that's the only thing. That's the only thing that is very very memorable. The name of the tenant is the major thing that is very very important. If you want to enter. The phone number of the tenant also you can do that if you like, but it's not much much important. Then you can go to next, you can go to next, you can next, just skip because all those things are very very, but they are not really more important because for the time sake, then you're going to specify the period of rent. It's the January to December. You're going to pick a date. Once you pick a date, it's going to appear to you here. And um, let's say 2022. Don't this one just one year. And this one is 12, let's like 13 to 12. And you can you're gonna enter how much how much is it the person paying there. And if you click on submit, it's gonna submit, uh, it's gonna submit it, and that's just about that. So once you click on submit, it's gonna take you to uh upload the passport. If the person has a password, you need a new tenant you want to you want to register, you can register them and snap them through your phone or any other means, and once if I click on it, it's going to open to me. That should bring the, if, if I've uploaded it on the if I have this the, the, the image on this system. All right. So if I don't have it, I can click. If I don't have the search, 
I can click click to proceed. I can if I have any document, I can click click. I can I just say click here to proceed. So once I just proceed, it's going to take me back to the dashboard. process. You, you, you now notice that the number of tenants has increased because it was initially nine because I just added the tenant there. So and uh, if you look at it, and that's if you want to review everything, I mean from the landlord, property, and tenant, this is where you're going to get it. This aspects from the left corner from the landlord, property, tenant, and like so. And um, of course, in the next tutorials, we are going to look at uh, what are the responsibilities of others looking at these routine man uh, activities, special meetings, service charge, payments, you want to collect your rent, and read the man notice and all the payments. So I'm going to show you an expenses and third party payments if maybe you want to remit to a third party. If you want to vacate a tenant, everything is here. If I get tenant, I can see those properties that are vacant here. And also, you can upload the document if there is a document that the landlord anybody does bring, maybe court case and lies, or has to do with maybe you snap it. You can snap it, you can you can actually scan it, maybe to a scanner and use your phone to do it. And you can since it's, this application is available on phone, you can still access it. So it's very, very important. So on the now next training, we are going to because they see a lot of things to know about this application because it has a you know this is a report. This report aspect is a whole full training on its own of which we are going to uh, basically address that and uh, the next one is remittance this remittance you need to understand the reminder also can remind you rent that's buying to time and next time so we can see a lot of things and you can see user activities log we want to monitor how login people who log into to this uh, any of the staff that log into them can monitor them and like so and uh, you can see staff and subscription uh, we want to see the company profile. You want to edit your profile, put your account number, the company. So because this account number is going to appear on the receipt given to tenant. So we need to actually see on the standard this thing works. So in the next training, uh, we're going to come and move to the next aspect of it. Thank you very much and uh, have a lovely day.